Hello friends, the time has come. The Null Affinity mod is ready to go, and I'll be posting it in the description, so provided that you have the PC version or a Steam Deck, uh, you can get your combo on. So we're just going to go straight into it. He's already all set up. I'm going to see what I've got on him. Here he is. I had to make more weapons because this is basically like a mostly fresh save file, but uh, we're just going to roll with the tried and true for now. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Fortunately, there's a lot of bugs with this, which I don't want to edit out because I don't want people to think this is a uh, Fully stable experience yet. I was talking to the developer about the glitches like right before I started this video. There we go. As you can see, uh, with the Null Affinity mod, basically all the mechanics pertaining to switching weapons are disabled, meaning you're not going to get anything, uh, any buffs pertaining to having the wrong affinity, you're not going to get switch counters or a storm rush. So depending on what you're trying to do, this might actually make the game harder in some ways, but we're just messing around in like a kind of no objective level like this, it's completely fine. It just depends on what you're trying to do. But also the game is very unstable with this mod right now anyway, so I don't think you would really want to <laughs> do any like super squiddy stuff at the moment. Just because there's a high chance it can soft lock. And you're gonna get a lot of snide comments from randos if you show yourself resetting the checkpoint and stuff, so. <laughs> uh, until those are fixed, this is probably best for simple, casual play. I mean, about as casual as something like this can be. Just don't want somebody to mauled over trying to do like a nightmare mode run and then the game crashes. But the, well, it doesn't crash, it's, it's more like it soft locks.
Notice the timer is going down faster than real time, so it's like uh, reverse Namek time. <laughs> Namek standard time in reverse. But if you pause, you'll see the actual time. Another weird uh, glitch with having all these mods on. <laughs> How fun is that? Actual uh, style play in this game. So, if you're interested in the mod, you need to be on the Steam version, meaning you cannot use the Microsoft Store version. Now, there is a possibility that you could, however, the issue is that when you buy things from the Microsoft Store, uh, it gets encrypted in a special folder. That's a real pain to get into, so uh, the game is on sale right now, so I feel like maybe you can suck it up and, <laughs> and pay for the DLC. Uh, if there is a way to get it to work on the Microsoft Store, I will definitely let you guys know, but I think the saves are going to be encrypted too, so that means that you would not be able to use any saves that are online for like speedruns or completionists that have everything done in the game. You'd have to start from scratch, so uh, you have to take those things into consideration, but this game doesn't have Steam Cloud anyway, so <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how much that's going to bother you, but 
right now, the best thing to do is to get it to get the Steam version, buy the Essential DLC, and then install the mod. Now, uh, I have everything set up in my Google Drive, so just go into the link in the description and I'll have everything in there. And you can uh, delete things as you see fit. Uh, there's like field of view, there's a frame time thing, uh, there's the affinity mod, and then there's 120 FPS. So you can tweak the experience to however you like it. Uh, if you're playing on Steam Deck, uh, it's actually very easy to set this up. You can just go ahead and take the link in my description, uh, unpack it, and then put it in the folder for uh, Dynasty Warriors 8. And then from there, you want to add zmod.exe as a non-Steam game, and then just load the game from there, because that's basically your new executable for this game. Thanks for watching.